Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If y'all are new here, my name is Alexis and I make new videos just like this every single week. So if you like it, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Um, but today we are doing a really exciting video. We are styling my new boots. So these are actually from Tacovas and they are sponsoring this video. So I'm going to talk about these boots really quick and then we can get into the styling. So I got the Annie boot from Tacovas, which is literally the perfect boot. It is so timeless and it's their best selling boot. And there's literally no question why. Um, it does come in six colorways and their new one is indigo, but I did get the suede. All of them are so beautiful though. I just thought these would be a fun addition for rodeo season. And the quality for the price of Tacoma's boots is just so nice. Me and my husband love looking at their boots here in Austin. And I just feel like the price to the quality is and kind of like the style is unmatched. Also, something else about the boots is that they are designed in Austin, Texas, which is so fun because that's where I'm from. And they are handmade in Mexico. So that is also super cool, super close to home. But yeah, we are going to be styling these boots using um, some Pinterest outfits that I gathered. And they're so freaking cute. And I'm really excited to style these boots because it is a rodeo season. So I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be wearing boots a lot. So <laughs> let's get into it. Okay, so the first one that I'm recreating is this Pinterest outfit. I'll pop it up on the screen. So I feel like this is a basic go-to that I feel like every girl should have. It doesn't matter if you have it in this white baby doll dress or like what baby doll dress that you have, but they look so cute with boots. And I know this white baby doll dress is gonna look absolutely adorable with the suede boots so i'm super excited to try it on um but first let's try on the dress i had to order two sizes because i am pregnant now so i am like what size am i in a normal dress but with these baby doll dresses too like you it goes over the bump really well so i think it'll fit well so i was expecting the top of this dress to be a little smaller kind of like the photo that i showed you guys um but it's totally okay because it still fits the bump surprisingly <laughs> um so we got lucky there but here are the boots with it and i have a feeling i'm gonna be pairing like a similar bag with all of these outfits just because I feel like Chloe is very like Western and I'm kind of going for rodeo in a lot of these fits. So look good with it. All right, so here is the full look. I feel like it's really simple too and easy. And they sell like baby doll dresses literally everywhere. So this is like a, you know, you could literally, I found this on Amazon. Like you could find this on Amazon, Princess Polly, like all of the websites and just like ship it today. You know, <laughs> and then you have a backup outfit at least. So here is the next outfit that I'm styling. So super cute, pretty neutral. And I actually needed like a neutral blazer. So I got one just for this video. Um, but she's also wearing like brown boots. So I feel like this kind of goes well together. Um, but I feel like I have all of these pieces. I might be missing the sunglasses, but I'll check. Okay. So here are the pieces that I got. She doesn't seem to be wearing like exactly a blazer. I think it's just like button up jacket type thing, but I just think the blazer looks really cute. Have my uh, maternity shorts that look like real shorts. So I feel like they kind of fit like a white tank top and I have like a purse that's similar to that as well. So I'll try that out. It's kind of funny because I've literally washed this blazer and I've literally left on the tag still. But 
this looks really cute together. I couldn't find the circle sunglasses and I don't feel like searching everywhere for them. So I'm just gonna wear like these rectangle ones. They're like a similar vibe, you know what I mean? I'm like so clumsy while I'm pregnant. Whew. But yeah, this looks really cute. I'll get the purse in a second, but obviously like no on the belt for me. If I ordered a belt during maternity, I feel like I just have to order so many sizes. It would be not worth it. Right, so she's carrying a Louie. So I got one too, cause I am copying her, but this is so cute. I love all of like the brown tones and I feel like you have two brown tones, um, like mixing even more of them together kind of just makes it look super cohesive, but this is a super cute outfit. I feel like this is like, this is gonna be my go-to. Like I have to wear this to something. This is so freaking adorable. Okay, so next is honestly a pretty simple one. So I just got this t-shirt, not my first rodeo. I was like, this is kind of cute, matches. Um, Honestly, when I first picked this stuff out, I wasn't thinking rodeo at all. So it's kind of funny that I literally picked the shirt out and I kind of honestly forgot that the rodeo was even about to happen. So, and then this girl just kind of like tucked it in the front. I feel like it looks a little different since I am pregnant, but it still is so freaking cute and I love these maternity shorts because you kind of can't tell that they're maternity so you can like tuck things into them and make them look really cute. This is probably one of the styles that I would definitely like curl my hair with. I feel like later it would end up in a bun but it would start curled kind of like the um, photo but let me find a bag to pair with it. All right, so I kind of liked this Chloe bag. I think it adds some extra color into the outfit. Still has that suede detail, which is very like Western and cute, but adds like a little bit of like pinkish. But yeah, I feel like this one is adorable. And this kind of like leads me into the next one, which is super similar to this one. They're like, it's almost the same, but like nighttime. Okay, so for this one, it's kind of just like a few pieces. I literally just pulled this up. Okay, so for this one, it's kind of just like a few pieces added on to like a basic outfit like this. So if you kind of want to level up that last Pinterest outfit, this is how you could do that. And I know like some days it's like pretty cold. Some days it's really warm, so you really don't know what to expect during this season. So just want to be prepared for everything. I don't really like this. I feel like I need to get like a jacket, but maybe not jean. Okay, so jean jackets have honestly never really been my thing, but I feel like this flannel is really cute kind of fits the theme too, this is much better. And you can wear like any t-shirt under this, but I feel like the yellow and green kind of go together. And then she has a hat on, oh, and sunnies. Okay, so of course, gotta pair it with the Chloe saddlebag. I mean, you guys, it's hard to style a bump, but um, she just has like some sunglasses on and a hat, I don't know how, I feel about a hat with like my hair in a bun, not really loving it. So I'm just going to do the sunnies, but if I had my hair down, I'd probably pair it with just like a plain white hat. But So these next two are a little bit more dressed up. So I feel like they're more for like nighttime and the last one's definitely very dressy, especially for being pregnant, but I feel like it's gonna be the most comfortable one because I know that I'm the most comfortable in dresses right now. So this might be actually another like go-to for me whenever wearing stuff out, just because dresses are super easy with the bump. Okay, so for this next one, I really tried to find a linen dress like that that would like work 
with my bump and I thought that I found one but it was way too short so we're going to improvise and it's gonna look like Pinterest is just for inspiration and although a lot of these have looked super similar to the photos I feel like you know it's okay to veer off and just use it as like a starting point that's kind of like the point of it um, I thought about doing this linen top over this jumpsuit, but I think I'm going to do this like completely buttoned down with this underneath and with the boots and my saddle bag. And I feel like that will look really cute. We'll see how it looks buttoned up. And if I don't like that, then maybe we'll like try leaving it unbuttoned, but it's kind of like going for like an oversized flowy fit for this one, so I'll have to see. Guys, this romper is the comfiest thing ever. So I feel like it's just as comfortable as wearing like a dress, if not more comfortable, because you don't have to worry about like it flying up or anything, especially with something like so flowy. But this is like kind of long enough to be a dress, which is funny because I it's definitely a shirt. But since it's maternity, like they just give you so much room in these clothes to grow, which is so nice because like you can I I never know what size I am. Cute. Now let's get our bag. This really pulls it together. I wish I had a cowboy hat like her or like a it's not like a cowboy hat, it's just like kind of like a western hat. I don't have one of those, but this is cute as well. So yeah, I feel like this is, this is good. Okay, so here is the next one. Super nighttime look, very, I feel like it's super comfortable. It might not completely look like it, but to me, being pregnant, this is one of the most comfortable outfits, besides maybe this one. This one's super comfortable as well. Um, but she has like a leather blazer, which I just ordered one because I don't have one. Um, but it's over like a white button up, so this would be super nice for nighttime because it gets pretty cold at night. Um, and it's over like a little black dress, so we'll try to find these pieces in my closet. Okay, so she has white boots that's why she like layered the white and did a white bag so since my boots are brown i'm gonna do like different brown tones to kind of like pull it like into the rest of the outfit honestly just this is cute so that's what's so nice about layering like you could just wear this inside and like take off your coat and you'd still look super cute. You can take this off, wrap both of those things around your waist. So you're like great outside for whenever you're going to get your food and stuff like that and inside for the concert and stuff like that if we're talking rodeo. Or honestly just like concerts in general or going out at night, which is kind of what this outfit is like geared towards. Like show it through a little bit and it gives it like some pattern so it's like less kind of boring you know what I mean so it's not just like all black also this blazer that I got there's definitely better options on Amazon so wouldn't recommend this one specifically but it works brown bag to tie it all together and obviously like this bag just looks so cute with these boots like I can't not pair them together like I'm I'm so obsessed but oh my gosh this is so cute see this is why you go to Pinterest for inspiration and then you kind of like switch it up however you want it because this is like God, I feel so cute in this outfit. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was it for the Pinterest-inspired outfits. I really hope that you enjoyed this one because I think this is my favorite Pinterest-inspired outfits that I've ever done. So I will definitely do them 
more for you guys because that was just so fun and the outfits came out so much better than normal um but yeah i will see you guys again soon definitely don't forget to like and subscribe and go follow me over on instagram bye